Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's Monday morning, and the date is what? October 7th. October 7th, and it's the birthday of somebody. It's the birthday of Mia. Where's Mia? Happy birthday, Mia. Hey, Mia, come up there, smile. Hi. Hello, Mia. And, and, look, we have... We have a gift for Mia. Hey, okay, hold this, hold this, hold this. Huh? Look at that, look at that. There, Mia Mong. What is that gift for you, Mia? We're gonna show that gift. What is that gift for you, Mia? What is that? Huh? There, what is that, Mia? Sewing machine. It's a sewing machine, you see? A sewing machine for our, our uh, budding seamstress. <laughs> yeah, we good, Mia. Yeah. Okay. Uh, huh? So, that is Mia's gift for her 11th birthday. Okay, let's go and proceed to the commentary today. But today is also the reason for Mia being named Mia, Mia Rosine, is because today is the Feast of the Holy... <coughs> What's that? The, the Holy Rosary, okay? The Feast of the Holy Rosary. So, we will continue our commentary on the Holy Rosary. Okay? So today, today, May 7th, we commemorate actually... October 7th. Sorry, what am I saying? Because May is also the month of Our Lady. October 7th, we are actually commemorating a very, very important battle. Okay? And this feast of Our Lady was originally the feast in commemoration of the victory, okay, the victory of the Holy League, the Holy League of uh, armies that uh, was organized to fight against the Ottoman Empire. And the Ottoman Empire is from where? Where was that? Huh? It has its origins in? Huh? They are the Turks, yeah. Okay. Okay. No, that's Rome. <laughs> so anyway, uh, uh, so this, the battle was known as the Battle of Lepanto. Okay? The Battle of Lepanto, uh, which was in Greece. The... the uh, the actual battle, it was a sea battle okay? um, that, that happened in Greece, okay, in the year 1571. So the, the, today, the, that is what we actually commemorated. Pope Pius V, Pope Pius V asked and ordered all churches in, in Rome at the time to, uh, to be open and to have people pray the rosary. Okay? So the Pope Pius ordered everybody pray the rosary, ask Our Lady for the favor of winning uh, the battle uh, against the Ottoman Empire that was uh, at that time threatening to uh, conquer the entire Europe. Okay? And we would have lost our Christian civilization if the Ottoman Empire, uh, well, I don't think we would have lost it precisely, we didn't lose it, but that was the threat, right? That the Ottoman Empire would overcome Europe and well that would have spelled disaster and trouble for the church so uh, the Pope um, asked different armies from different uh, countries around Europe uh, to participate in this crusade okay, to fight against the Ottoman Empire and they were they were very much outnumbered okay? they were very much outnumbered but what led to the victory is the uh, intercession of Our Lady through praying of the Rosary. That is what the Pope uh, Pius V acknowledged as being the secret weapon, the secret weapon of that battle and how that battle was won was because Our Lady uh, interceded. Okay? Now, um, by around uh, the time of Gregory the Thirteenth, Pope Gregory the Thirteenth. He decided that this feast uh, be given a, a different 
uh, name and a different nature altogether, and he uh, renamed this feast instead of making it Our Lady of Victory as it was before in the time of Pope Pius V. He renamed it the Feast of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Okay. But you see, the, uh, the, the nature of the Rosary remains to be the same. And that is what we're going to comment on part three of our continuing uh, study of how to pray the Rosary. Right? This is now part three. What was the first part that we were, um, that we were commenting about how, as to the how to pray the Rosary? What was the first thing we were saying? Huh? Sorry? Okay. To to pray the vocal prayers properly. To pray the vocal prayers properly with with your heart and mind into uh, what you're saying, right? And not just rattling off the Hail Marys and Our Fathers like uh, like a mantra, which is which is not what it is. Okay, it is a prayer. It's a conversation with Our Lady with uh, with our lord okay so we have to pray the vocal prayers properly audibly so you be heard okay i cannot insist uh, on that enough audibly so that you are heard okay what's part two what's the second way of praying the rosary it is to meditate on the mysteries that are being announced prior to re the recitation of the decade of hail marys right it is to meditate on the mystery. And meditating on the mystery means calling to mind the scenes, the events of that particular decade that was that is uh, presented to us for contemplation at that decade. So today is Monday. What mysteries of the rosary do we pray today? Joyful. The joyful. Okay, joyful mysteries on a Monday. And no, so now we come to part three of this how-to. What is the part three? And I think it's very much uh, uh, um, auspicious that it is connected to uh, the, today's feast, the feast of Our Lady of Victory or Our Lady of the Rosary. And that part three is to use the rosary as a means to ask Our Lady and Our Lord to grant us favors and intentions. In the same manner that the whole church was praying uh, uh, to defeat the Ottoman Empire in the 16th century. Well, that event now teaches us that every day of our lives that we pray the rosary, we can ask Our Lady to draw down graces from heaven for the many intentions that we pray for. Okay? And that is my recommendation to everybody that every time we pray the rosary let's be prepared to offer the rosary uh, for certain intentions because that is what Our Lady has wanted us to do in fact that's what uh, she asked uh, at Fatima see the three the three um, children at Fatima that's what she asked them to do pray the rosary every day pray for sinners pray for this pray for that so Our Lady herself wanted us to use the rosary in order to ask her for favors, to ask her and our Lord for the intentions that we keep in our hearts. And you see, this, this has been our experience uh, all the time, right? Recently, who and what have we been praying for? The intentions we've been praying for. Can we recall? What do we recall? What do we say when we begin the rosary and we offer the rosary? With who, what and who do we offer it for? One. Okay, the Pope, the bishops, and our pastors, right? So we, we offer the rosary every day for the Pope, the bishop, and our pastors. What else? For the sick, right? Particularly, Shavi, who have been the sick people we have been uh, keeping in mind? Who? Who? We mentioned them by name, right? Why are you shy? Who? Number one. Julia. Huh? Huh? Julia. Julia, yes. Julia, the daughter of Elizabeth uh, del Curto, right? So we pray for her every day because she's now sick. Who else do we pray for? Mrs. Puzon. Mrs. Puzon. Mrs. J.B. Puzon. See, who else? Mrs. Powers. Mrs. Powers. See, Joe? Mrs. Powers, who, by the way, just 
came out of surgery again. So uh, we we continue to keep her in mind. Who else? Lola. Okay. Who else? Grandma. Oh, and then when when Uncle Dan was sick and dying, we were praying for Uncle Dan, right? Huh? Dr. Anna, when she was sick and dying, but for all the time she was sick, all those years, we were praying for Dr. Anna, uh. right? And so, praying for friends and family, okay, when, uh, when they were most in need of the intercession of Our Lady. So, we were praying for all of those intentions. And besides that, what else were we praying for in the rosary? Huh? For all the... The, the dead, the faithful department, uh, departed, right? <laughs> and, and of course, we, we, uh, we also mention names, right? We mention uh, grandpa, grandma, and all, the, all those who have died uh, that we know of, right? And then what else? What else do we pray for in the rosary? The end of abortion. Very good. So the end of abortion. What else? The institution of marriage, okay, see, so in order for Our Lady to uh, help us defend uh, marriage, eh? and the continuous fight to defend the institution of marriage. What else? Anything else? You remember? And your birthday today! <laughs> so those who have birthdays also, eh? and for many other intentions that we uh, get to be asked to pray for. And so, so you see, it is our habit in, in the Kleachko household to uh, to mention all of these intentions for uh, to uh, to Our Lady prior to beginning uh, the rosary and that way we we try to make sure we offer up the rosary for the intentions that uh, we are keeping in our hearts and in our minds okay and and that is part three that is part three to make use of the rosary as a weapon as a weapon to fight evil, as a weapon to uh, fight against our own uh, bad tendencies in our character and, and uh, other things, as, as a weapon to ward off uh, even physical uh, disasters that could happen to our lives. Right? And more importantly, as a weapon to draw down from heaven <coughs> graces that we need for our souls. Okay? So the rosary is a very, very powerful means it's a sacramental by the way okay well, that'll be another topic of our <laughs> discussion sometime uh it's a sacramental it's not a sacrament but it is a sacramental and we'll we will explain what that means at another uh, uh, opportunity so let us make use of the rosary the way our lady had taught us to make use of the rosary and by the way this month of um, october is also besides trying to pray the rosary every day it's also a very good time to try to make a pilgrimage, a pilgrimage to a shrine of Our Lady. It doesn't have to be always to Loreto or Lourdes or, or uh, Fatima, right? Even in your backyard, even in uh, a town uh, nearby where there's a church dedicated to Our Lady, or even just a statue uh, where you find a statue at a church uh, of Our Lady. You can do a complete pilgrimage just right there, okay? And that would be a very nice habit. Uh, to do during this month of October and the more pilgrimages you can make the better so this this Saturday for example we uh, we are planning to make a trip to Our Lady of uh, Peace in uh, is that Santa, Cla Santa Clara I think well, that is huge huge statue there of Our Lady and we're going to visit her and uh, uh, put our petitions before her feet as we recite um, three to four decades or mysteries of the rosary in that pilgrimage. Joe, were you about to say something? No. No more? You forgot? Okay. Well, have a good day, everybody. And uh, we'll wish Mia a very happy birthday today and happy feast day to Our Lady. And, um, and that's it. We're off to Mass. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.